Hello and welcome back to Tasha Could Make That. I have a quick knitting tutorial for you today how to work a three needle bind off for shoulders. The three needle bind off is a great and easy way to create a seam in two pieces of knitting without sewing an actual seam. It's perfect for shoulders of bottom up sweater patterns like my legendary pattern that I'm wearing. To work it you just bind off the live stitches of both the front and back pieces together to form the seam. All you need to work it is three needles, like one circular because it has two needle tips and one other. You can also use three DPNs or straight needles too. Here's how to work it. Three needle bind off is worked with your knitting inside out so the wrong side is facing you and the right side of both the front and the back are facing each other. If you're knitting a pattern that instructs you to bind off all your shoulder stitches, instead keep them live on waist yarn, that's the green yarn here, until you finish both the front and the back pieces. I'm going to work the three needle bind off on the right shoulder stitches of my project since I just finished my back piece. All these stitches are live currently and my shoulder stitches for the right front and then later my left front are on hold. My back stitches were already on the needles so I placed my front right shoulder stitches on a second needle. Both needle tips need to be facing the same direction and you hold the needles parallel to each other to work this. In my right hand is my third needle. To begin you place the right needle tip through the front loop of the first stitch on the front needle and through the front loop of the first stitch on the back needle. So the needle closest to you and the needle furthest from you. And then you just knit these two stitches together as one by placing your yarn over the right needle and pulling it through both and dropping them off the needle. It's basically working a knit two together, but from different needles. Now you have one stitch on your right needle, just like you would in preparation for a normal bind off. And you just repeat that previous step. Right needle through the front loop of the first stitch on the needle closest to you, and through the first stitch on the needle furthest from you. Knit those two together, drop it off the needle. Now you have two stitches on the right needle and just like in a regular bind off, you're going to pass the first stitch on the right needle over the second stitch. And I've just bound off one stitch. And we'll just be repeating this process for all the other stitches. So right needle through the front loop, right needle through the front loop, through the front loop of both those stitches, knit them together, and now bind off one. Through the front loop, through the front loop, knit those two together, bind off one. Just repeat those two steps for all your remaining shoulder stitches. It can be a little bit fussier if you're carrying two strands of yarn together, but just go slow. Shoulders aren't that big, so it won't take that long. Repeat this until all the stitches for your shoulder have been bound off and you have one stitch left remaining on the right needle. Just like a regular bind off, when you're done, you'll break the yarn and pull the tail through that last stitch. It doesn't matter if you use a three needle bind off on the shoulders for a pattern that has you keep the back neckline stitches on hold or bind them off. If your pattern has you place them on hold, you'll just do that after working the right shoulder three needle bind off. Cutting the tail, as I said, and pulling it through the last stitch placing the back neckline stitches on hold, and then work the three needle bind off on your left shoulder stitches, putting your front left stitches on a live needle and working them with the back, just like you did for the right. But if your pattern has you bind off the back neckline stitches, after you work the right shoulder three needle bind off, don't break the yarn, but instead just continue using it to bind off the back neckline stitches as the pattern instructed you to do until you get to the left shoulder stitches. And then you'll work the three needle bind off for the left shoulder stitches with the front left shoulder stitches in the back. Here's what that lovely three needle bind off looks like from the inside and from the outside. Beautiful finish and you didn't even have to pick up a sewing needle. <laughs> So that's the three needle bind off, an easy way to seam shoulders without sewing an actual seam. Even if you're knitting a garment flat and seaming everything together by hand, which you might be doing if say you were working with a vintage knitting pattern, three needle bind off is a great option to eliminate those two shoulder seams. I don't mind seaming sometimes, but I haven't seamed shoulders together by hand in years. If the pattern tells me to bind off the shoulders, instead I convert the shoulder bind off to short row shoulder shaping and then I finish it off with a three needle bind off. 
Want a tutorial on short row shoulders sometime? Let me know in the comments. Meanwhile, I hope you'll give Three Needle Bind off a try. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, happy knitting. Bye.